The story of the evolution of Nigeria's road infrastructure in the period regarded as the critical four decades of national development leading up to the mid-90s cannot be most adequately chronicled without the input of engineer Guy Otobo, who was a key player and insider in most of the policy decisions that guided the implementation of most of the road projects in the era that has come to be known as modern Nigeria. Engineer Guy Otobo is a top-class Nigerian civil servant, brilliant civil engineer, who rose through the ranks to the highly esteemed and pivotal position of coordinating Director of Federal Highways, Director General, Federal Minister of Works and Housing, and the Ministry of Petroleum and Mineral Resources before he voluntarily retired from service. The launch of engineer Guy Eboy Otobo's autobiography, A Life on the Roads, which chronicled the experiences of an insider in the public policy making of the elite class in matters concerning construction of infrastructure in Nigeria, drew top class dignitaries who are themselves critical players in the social, cultural, economic, and political development of Nigeria. These are men and women with whom engineer Guy Otobo had established cordial and long-standing relationship over the years. Among the dignitaries at the book lunch were former military president, General Ibrahim Babangida, who was chairman of the occasion, elder statesman, Chief Edwin Clark, who was father of the day, Nigeria's former ambassador to Brazil, Ambassador Patrick Daly Cole, who reviewed the book. Also in attendance was architect Mike Onolamimu, Nigeria's Minister of Works, clearly one of the prodigies of the 74-year-old celebrant engineer Guy Otobo. The event which took place at the Nigerian Institute of International Affairs in Lagos on the 6th of June 2014 was spiritually fortified by Bishop Akin Odejide before the chairman's address. This was delivered by General Ibrahim Babangida. In it, he described engineer Guy Otobo as a world-class achiever, a man of honor, who has contributed immensely to the building of modern Nigeria, a committed professional who has impacted immensely in the development of infrastructure in Nigeria. General Ibrahim Babangida said that engineer Guy Otobo has, through his dint of hard work, earned a very good name for himself, and this would outlive him. Uh, has spent his entire public service over 30 years in the highway division of the Federal Ministry of Works. Indeed, since his graduation in 1960, with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering, he has remained committed to this profession, for which he has made a man, and indeed has contributed immeasurably to the construction of arterial roads, bridges, and major highways in our great country. This is one individual devoted to his profession who has not abandoned his calling to join the Bangladesh, to join us in politics, or engage in buying and selling as a trader, or a briefcase general contractor. He remains today a professional no, to the form, even after a distinguished and unblemished <coughs> public service. In his own remarks, engineer Guy Otobo, who began by expressing his heartfelt gratitude to those who honored him, Thank God for using him as an instrument to cause changes in the development of infrastructure in the era he called modern Nigeria. Engineer Tobo gave further tips on how to improve road development in Nigeria. At independence in 1960, Nigeria inherited a mostly rural network of roads, great kilometrage of which was totally unpaid. The various administrations since then had the foresight and more importantly the will to give Nigeria a modern network of roads. All the administrations from Balewa's regime to now know the benefits of good roads and road transport sector in Nigeria and road transport sector in Nigeria carries about 85% the total persons, goods and services for the road transport sector. The Bangladesh administration 
which I promised the good and director, content director of Federal Highways and Permanent Secretary, spent the number of resources constructing a huge network of rules. So many, I'm not sure I can list them now, but please check the book, the part of the book. In the review of the book, an autobiography on engineer Guy Otobo's life on the roads, Ambassador Patrick Daly Cole, OFR, congratulated the author for his insight and great scholarly work and the useful guide in the construction of infrastructure in Nigeria. He arrives into a country where there are no express roads, no autobans, and so he feels a tools and challenge. Somewhere down the line, the commission tries to draw an eight-lane highway, but he has to deal with English contractors, German contractors, Italian contractors, French, Israelis. Now let's start with English. <laughs> The book also contains a look at Engineer Otobo's early life at Government College O'Reilly, Delta State, the University of McGill, and life at Montreal, Canada. The book also looked at his career at the Federal Minister of Works and Housing, his stint at the Federal Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources, and of course his sporting life. In his own contribution, Minister of Works architect Mike Onolamaming congratulated Engineer Gao Otobo for his intellectual contribution to the growth and development of road infrastructure in Nigeria. He said emphatically that it is a foundation laid by the likes of engineer Guy Otobo that Nigeria has continued to build on in the era of road infrastructural development over the years. It is very worthy ambassador of the Federal Ministry of Works, where he spent the greater majority of his career life spanning over 30 years period. A period that defined the book we are reviewing, that has just been reviewed by Ambassador Cole, and which we are launching today. I want therefore to convey the presentations of the Federal Minister of Works to him and his dear wife and indeed his family. The Minister of Work appreciates his contribution to road development in Nigeria, and the Ministry wish him well and pray for God's continuing favor in his life and in the life of his family. I also want to talk and notice that Engineer Kai Tewo, that name is a recurring name in most of the narratives at the Federal Ministry of Works. <laughs> and as a scholar myself, I engaged in the October on the second day of January this year at his residence in Victoria Island here. And I had a two hours conversation with him. And he gave insight into so many of the things that have been said today. So I can truly appreciate his personality and he's truly an enigma. In fact, he is a pioneer of the Federal Ministry of Work. Whatever we are doing today, or whatever the achievements we may be making today, the achievements that are built on the foundations that have been very well laid by the Nigerian The book, A Life on the Road, an autobiography on engineer Gao Turbo, was then unveiled by a strong team led by elder statesman Chief Edwin Clark. Following that was the formal launch of the book as people pledged generous donations. To be a very responsible engineer. You mentioned highway, federal highway. This word was mentioned to me by Abdul Attack, the secretary to the federal government in 1968. I still remember. So, we have always been on the right track. And I pray everybody will recognize this book if they do not know how to read. <laughs> you have to see what the young man has done for himself. I pray the Almighty God has given him the strength 
you continue to arrange and with them to do what is right for yourself and to your country. And in the name of God, I will dare this book. Thank you very much. With a word of thanks and a photo and video session by the celebrant engineer Gao Tobo and a string of dignitaries that honored him, the curtain was drawn on the launch of the Life on the Road, an autobiography on engineer Gao Tobo, a former director of Federal Highways, director of the Federal Minister of Works and Housing, and Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources.